Let's take a look at the formula for iron metal. So often in chemistry, you're given an equation, like a word equation, and it says iron metal, and you need to write the formula. So iron, this is some iron here, and you can see that the iron atoms, they're bonded together. They're held together. Otherwise, this would just be a powder. So we have iron metal here with these metallic bonds holding the iron atoms together. And we can just call this Fe because it's only iron atoms. And let's say put an S for solid after it. So this would be the formula for iron metal, just Fe. But understand that these iron atoms, they're held together by metallic bonds. That's why we have these lumps, these solids here and this cube. Let's take a look at a word equation that uses iron metal. So this is fairly typical. You have iron metal plus oxygen gas and you get iron three oxide. So if you were given this equation and asked to write the formulas for each of these compounds, iron metal, that would be again, just Fe, it would be a solid. And then when you see oxygen gas, that's a diatomic molecule. So we would have O2 and that would be a gas. And then we get our iron three oxide, Fe2O3, and that would be a solid. But the point is we have our iron metal here and the formula is Fe and the little s here. That means that it's a solid. This is Dr. B with the formula for iron metal, Fe. Thanks for watching.